the best bodyweight shoulder exercise coming up. Crew members, welcome back to the channel, my friends. We're in a bit of a different scene here that I've not recorded before, but Anyway, if you are, actually, no, sorry, I, I apologize. It's good to see you here on the other side of the camera. And if you are new to this channel, you're new to body training calisthenics, then you should definitely consider, you know, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications because if you want to discover what your own body weight is truly capable of achieving, then you come to the right place and make sure that you hit that button and turn on that bell. Right, so this exercise I'm talking about is deep pike push-ups because this is kind of like the equivalent of, you know, uh, a dumbbell or even a barbell overhead press where you can really actually build strength in those delts in a full range of motion and this is not only great for building strength and muscle but also the fact of like we're really adding you know range of motion that we don't usually do with inverted pressing and body weight training is that we're actually going to actually improve the mobility in our shoulders by improving our shoulder extension at the bottom and our shoulder flexion at the top. So, you know, if you're able to build more strength, more muscle and more mobility in just one exercise, you know, as I like to say to my clients, like more gains, less time, we're gonna do it. <laughs> so when it comes to, you know, progressions of the deep pipe pushups, you wanna think of it like, you know, as you would with regular push-up variations, or actually in simple terms, you wanna think of going low to high. So what I mean by that is that when you're starting out this exercise, you wanna consider doing this on an incline by doing deep incline pipe push-ups and focusing on, you know, really not only doing the good form cues of the pipe push-up, keeping the elbows tucked in, you really wanna focus on pressing and moving from top to bottom, or bottom to top, should I say, in a vertical plane to load the shoulders in the most effective way possible. And then from there, you simply lower yourself down until the point as you get stronger to the point where you are doing this on the floor, doing regular deep pipe push-ups. Then as you get good at that, again, you focus on the good form standards in all your push-up and your pipe push-up variations. You simply do this with your feet elevated. So you do deep, elevated, full range of motion, pike push-ups, which are absolutely brutal when you do this, particularly when you focus on having your body line as vertical as possible. So that's how you're going to load the shoulders more and more as you get stronger. And then obviously as we work our way up to the point where we're pressing our body weight more and more vertically upward, right, to make the exercise harder, of course, the next stage would be deep full range of motion handstand push-ups, which of course, um, can be brutally honest, is something I cannot do right now. However, I can tell you that, you know, these progressions significantly help me with achieving the handstand push-up by the wall. And, you know, I'm actually talking about the chest of wall handstand push-up, which is a lot harder than the other handstand push-up variation on the wall. And so with that said, the full range of motion actually works as a really good tool to bridge the gap between each pike push-up variation. So if you're someone who struggles with um, pike push-ups on the ground, then you can simply do deep incline pike push-ups to help bridge that gap. And then from there, you can then use the deep pike push-ups to bridge the gap between the pike push-up and the elevated pike push-ups. As again, there's a pretty big gap between the two in terms of strength. Whereas if you use the full range of motion in the middle, you can help bridge that gap to then get stronger in a more effective way. And then again, with elevated pipe push-ups, you know, the elevated pipe push-up to a full um, handstand push-up where you're pressing completely vertically, the pretty big jump in, in intensity. And so when you use the full range of motion in that position, of course, the intensity is gonna scale up quite a lot, but it's also gonna be manageable to the extent where you can continue building strength um, in the fastest way so that you can then build that strength vertically um, in the most effective way without all the frustrating plateaus that I had to suffer in the past. And so yeah, that is pretty much it. If you do this progression, not only your shoulders gonna get much stronger, they're also gonna broaden, thicken in muscle, muscle density, so you can continue sculpting that lean, muscular and defined body. And that really ultimately ga gains you the confidence you desire in your own skin and veins, which is what we want, don't we? And so, with that said, if you enjoyed this video, you like my content, you enjoyed watching every single minute and every single second of this video, make sure to like this video and then comment down below.
And what I said, I'd also be curious to know in the comment section below, as you know, this was a, a, kind of like a best bodyweight shoulder exercise. I'd also be curious to know what other types of best bodyweight exercises you want to see on this channel in terms of different muscle groups. Again, comment that down below, and I will be sure to read that, and we may then actually see that video suggestion on this YouTube channel in the near future. And so, as that is enough for me today, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, my friend, and as a crew member of the Gainstra Express, Keep moving forward.